Hey guys, how's it going? I got some tips and tricks for you guys, and this one's going to be all about 1v minis and how you can win them every time, whether it's 1v2 or 1v8. So the first thing I want to talk about, because it's going to dictate everything you do during the fight itself, is how to properly prepare and set yourself up for success. This starts with choosing your armor, and there are really two ways to go about this. You're always going to want the best armor you can get your hands on for a 1v mini, but what you really need to decide is if you'll be using a two-hander or a shield. Obviously, it's not that easy early on to get your hands on the best gear, so it helps to decide which fight fighting style you want to focus on, and you may even want to avoid the 1v minis until you can get some decent gear. If you decide you're going to use a shield, that shield is going to be your best friend, and it should be the main way you avoid damage. Your armor is kind of there as a last resort in case you miss a block, but I'll show you a tip for making the most out of your shield in a minute so that nothing gets past it. But if you don't go with a shield because you're two-handing, then you really want some tough armor because you're going to be getting hit more, there's just no avoiding that. The other reason setting up your armor properly is so important is because your main focus during a 1v mini should be avoiding damage. You've only got one HP bar and you need to deplete a bunch of other ones so you're going to need to last a while. So let's go over a few things that are going to help you avoid damage. The first thing that I mentioned earlier is really the best way to use your shield during a 1v many. So look at how I'm moving in this clip and you'll notice that this is what I do a lot of the time when I've got a shield. You want to circle around the center of the arena with your shield arm towards the center. This is going to have your shield resting in the best position to block your enemy's attacks without actually having to click your block. This way you don't even really have to pay attention to your shield because you know it's in a good position and you can instead focus on something much more important. So in a 1v mini my attention is always on the most dangerous enemy and their weapon. And by most dangerous I don't mean which one has the best weapon or anything, I mean you want to constantly scan through the crowd and try to see which enemies are readying an attack or if there aren't any just focus on whoever's closest to you or if someone's on your side or something where your shield wouldn't block them. Doing this will let you react to attacks so you can flick your shield over to block it or dodge if you can. Another thing that'll help you avoid damage is to not force your attacks. Just don't get greedy. I tend to try and focus on enemies that have lost their helmet or if they have some other weak spot, but don't go running into the crowd just to hit these guys. You'll always get a chance to hit them later and forcing it could just get you hit for a bunch of damage. Now I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about dealing damage. So another important choice you need to make before the fight starts is whether you want to use a long or a short weapon. I generally find longer weapons to be more useful with fewer enemies because when it gets more crowded it can be harder to get your attacks off without being interrupted. A short weapon means you'll have to get closer to the enemies, but sometimes that can actually be a good thing because it's just easier in the end to actually get your attacks off. So if you feel like you struggle with either one, maybe give the other one a go and see if that helps. Another thing that often ends up being really important in these fights is switching weapons at the right time. If what you're doing isn't working, you should probably switch things up, or you might just want to switch based on how the fight's going. Like I said before, I like using longer weapons when there aren't as many enemies, so if you've killed a few guys but you've also lost a bunch of health and you want to slow things down a bit and keep your distance while you attack, see if there's a spear you can switch to. Or if you're struggling to beat a shield, see if there's an axe you can get over it with or even just break it. There have been so many times where I felt like I'm going to lose, but then I switch my weapon and all of a sudden the fight completely turns around. And that brings me to the last tip, and this one's by far the most important. Don't ever give up. Don't ever feel like there's no way you're going to win. As long as you have health left, you can focus on doing everything you can to avoid taking any more damage. Watch the enemy's weapon, block, dodge. As long as you get that stuff right, you'll get more opportunities to deal damage and finish them off. Don't worry if you're getting deep into the fight and there's still a bunch of guys left either. What often happens is that your damage has been spread out across a bunch of them, and while nobody's died yet, they're all about to, and they'll start dropping like flies if you just stick with it. And that's that for this one, so I really hope these tips help you guys with your fights. If you want to see more tips, click that video on the screen, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.